The Middle Georgia native returns home with a very special art exhibit at the Tubman Museum. Joining us now is the museum's director of exhibitions, Jeff Bruce, to tell us more about the artist and his work. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us a little about U Ulysses Marshall and you know the exhibit that he's bringing to the museum. Okay. Um, Ulysses is actually a Georgia native, as you said. He's from Vienna, Georgia originally. Um, now he lives and works out of Maryland. Mm -hmm. um, we have a one-person exhibition of his work up at the museum now. It's called The Excavation of Lost Souls. Um, it's a painting exhibit. It has a couple of mixed media pieces as well, um, but it features about 30, 31 works of art, mostly paintings, um, kind of expressionistic uh, mixed media paintings. Um, he is a abstract artist and the title of the show has to do with the subject of the show. I was going to say it's is, very yeah, catching. Which is um, really kind of an examination of black history and black culture but from the perspective of someone who is looking at that culture from outside. Even though he is an African American artist, he's looking at black history and black culture from outside of that community and, and kind of picturing it as a community that's um, existing, kind of cut off from its um, ancestral uh, and spiritual homeland and making a new history and a new community in a new land. You kind of touched on a little bit, but what is the inspiration behind yeah. this work? Um, um, it, it, is, it is trying to really make sense of the transition from um, um, African American people in Africa through the Middle Passage and creating new life and a new history in the United States. That's really the subject, the theme that runs through, and the perspective that he has is pretty unique in that he's, even though he is a member of that community, he's kind of looking at it as an outsider. And you talked about paintings and a couple of different yeah. mixed media. What kind of gives an idea or a feel of his style? Um, it's very um, um, emotionally powerful work. It has a lot of formal layers as well as a lot of um, um, symbolic layers. It's really work that you have to see uh, to kind of unpack all of the little messages that are there. So we're inviting everybody to come out and see it on um, Friday. Uh, we're actually having a reception on Friday the 8th. It's from 6 to 8 p.m. at the museum. Um, he will be there. Uh, Ulysses will be there, and he'll be able to talk about his work and his inspiration and, and what he's trying to accomplish. Um, and, and I also want to mention that um, the 8th is Members Appreciation Night. So if you're mm -hmm. a museum member and you come to the event, you get a free gift. I have to make sure I mention that. <laughs> One yeah. thing that I think is pretty cool is that it, he's, he is a Middle Georgia native coming mm -hmm. to back to the museum mm -hmm. and to present his work. How, how significant is that? Um, we try to support local artists as much as we can. Um, uh, when I say local, I mean Macon artists, Middle Georgia artists, even, you know, I, we think of ourselves as a regional institution, so the entire state of Georgia and the southeast is, uh, we want to promote that local creative talent as much as we can, and so we're very, very happy and pleased to be able to bring him back. And very quickly, we have a little less than 15 seconds left. Mm -hmm. How long will the exhibit be up and running for, um, for you to see? It'll be up through January 11th. January 11th? Yes. So something that you don't want to miss. We you've don't got, want to miss it. You've got plenty of time to get yes. over there. Come out Friday. <laughs> All right, again, the exhibit is called The Excavation of Lost Souls and will be on display at the Tubman Museum until January 11th. For more information on museum hours and ticket costs, you can check out www.tubmanmuseum.com.